close your eyes and focus your thoughts on the breath. Try to sense where you feel the breathing in the body right now. And if you're going to think about anything, think about that, whether it feels comfortable or not. And if it doesn't feel comfortable, how you can change the breath to make it a little bit more comfortable. Changing here doesn't mean you squeeze it, you just nudge it a little bit. Or just pose the thought in the mind. How would longer breathing feel? See how the body responds. How would shorter feeling breathing feel? See how it responds. Try to give this some time so you get to know the breath really well. And you get the mind in a place where you can know it too. The other thoughts will come through at the, the same time, but you have to let those go. You can't hold on to them. You realize the mind can do only one or two things at a time. If it takes on too many tasks at a time, then it doesn't do any of them quite well. And sometimes the tasks you take on, if there are too many of them, they begin to fight each other. Like you spend all your time thinking, thinking, thinking about things. There's not going to be any chance for there to be any peace of mind inside. So you have to let go of a lot, all the thoughts that are irrelevant to the breath right now. This is a basic principle in the Buddhist teachings that to gain true happiness or a lot of lesser happinesses you have to give up. It's not the case that we just give up things that are obviously bad. We also have to give up things that are relatively good because there's something even better. If you don't give them up, then the better things don't have a chance to grow. It's like planting eucalyptus trees in your garden. You might decide that you want to have a wide variety of trees in your garden, and eucalyptus are pretty and they have a nice smell. But you begin to realize as you put the eucalyptus trees in there that they begin to kill all the other plants in the garden. So some things just can't coexist in the mind. It's the same with all the principles of the practice. When you're going to be generous, if there's any thoughts of greed that come up at that time, you have to let them go. Any thoughts of how much, gee, I'd really like to hold on to this a little bit longer. If you really want to develop the virtue of generosity, you've got to learn how to let things go. The same with the precepts. There may be some things that you might want to say and do that would be against the precepts. We've got to get, let them go if you're going to develop the quality of virtue inside. All well, this fits under the Buddha's definition. What is the first question that underlies wisdom, which is, what when I do it will lead to long-term welfare and happiness? Which means, of course, you've got to give up the things that lead only to short-term happiness that get in the way of the long-term. But then when you realize, okay, it's for your long-term well-being that we're doing this, you don't feel quite so starved of the things that you wanted to do. You realize that it's more like a trade. You're trading candy for gold. Maybe you can't eat the gold right now, it doesn't taste sweet, but down the line it's going to be a lot better for you. you get a lot more use out of it. So always keep the gold in mind. Anytime the candy comes up, realize you've got the opportunity to make a trade. And so make a trade that's advantageous.